Whitehead Railway Museum presents The Train's Coming, a ghost story for Christmas by Tony Campbell, adapted and read by Ian Sinclair. It was Christmas 1955 and I was spending the holiday with some friends who lived near Loch Gilly in County Armagh. That Christmas Eve we all went to the midnight service in the local parish church but as I was feeling a little tired and unwell I slipped out of the service early and started to head back to the house. As it was a clear moonlit night I decided to take a shortcut along the old railway line to Glen Anne station which was close to my friend's home. The railway had closed some six months previously, and as I walked and sometimes tripped over the old sleepers in the overgrown track, I noted the decay in both the rails and the sleepers. Eventually I arrived at Glen Anne Station, but what a change! Three lamps were flickering, one in the ticket office and two in the platform, and as I was puzzling about this transformation, a tall man stepped out of the shadows and shouted at me, Get off the line, the train's coming! Now, I knew there were no trains in this line anymore, so I was more than surprised to hear those words, but I quickly stepped onto the platform and in the light from one of the oil lamps I had a good look at him. He was a man of about 50 years of age, he had a black beard streaked with grey, he was wearing an old-fashioned coat, a choker and a tall hat. Indeed, he looked just like someone straight out of the Victorian era. Beside him were two other uniformed men, one a soldier in a red tunic and black busby hat of the Hussars, and the other a policeman wearing a sword. The tall man spoke again. Will the train get clear? It must run to time or it will block the special. Listen, there it is now. It will just make it. To my amazement, a train rumbled into the platform, headed by a tank engine and hauling two green six-wheel carriages. A fellow got off, and as he was leaving, he handed me a ticket. Without thinking, I put it in my coat pocket. Then I saw the train's driver and the tall man having an argument. Quickly the guard, a small bewhiskered man, joined in. The special hadn't left the point when we left Newry, so of course we'll make it all right. And with that, he blew his whistle. The driver blew his. And the train moved away. I was about to make myself scarce when suddenly the tall man cried out. My God, the special's coming, there's going to be a smash! As he ran along the platform waving his handkerchief at the train, which was now approaching the station. It didn't stop. I'm ruined, I'm ruined, cried the tall man. He should have stopped, he'll wreck the passenger. Then he ran into his office. All of a sudden, everything changed. The lights were out, the office looked deserted and there was no sign of anyone around the station. Confused and puzzled, I put it down to the effects of being ill and I headed for home. The next day, Christmas Day, I felt much better and decided to take a short walk before we all sat down to our feast. I put my coat on and, heading out the door as it was nippy and I'd forgotten my gloves, I put my hands in my pockets and there was a small piece of cardboard. I took it out, and to my amazement I discovered it was a single ticket from Newry to Loch Gilly, as Glen Anne Station had previously been known, dated the 14th of February 1870. It was the ticket given to me by the passenger last night. Although hard to believe, I began to realise that I must have witnessed some event which had happened a long time ago. About a week later, I was back home in Armagh, so I slipped out of work one lunchtime and called into the county museum to see what I could find out about Loch Gilly Station. To my utter amazement, I discovered that on the 14th of February 1870, the date on my ticket, there was a crash between a passenger train and a director's special about one and three quarter miles west of Loch Gilly Station. Eight people were hurt. The result of the inquiry blamed the agent for allowing the passenger train to leave his station before the special. 
the agent hanged himself on Christmas Day, 1870. The Train's Coming was written by Tony Campbell and produced by Ian Sinclair for Whitehead Railway Museum.